Okay, so I got a message from old school coder on YouTube saying, hey, why didn't you use my nifty utility TDSOS, which is a set of disk utilities that he created back in the day. And so since he threw down the gauntlet, I said, well, why not? Let's give that a try. So what I did is I went ahead and downloaded the tool from his GitHub. And I'm going to mount the image right here. It's the tdsos.d64. And right now on my Commodore 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus, I have um, the cartridge set as device ID 8, and I have a secondary disk drive plugged in to device ID 9. So I'm going to hit reset, and we're going to load. Let's, let's get a directory to see what's on his image. I'm just going to load it in. And one of the neat things that uh, Old School Coder's done here, which uh, I don't know how he did it, is after it loads, you don't activate the program by hitting, typing in run. You press run stop and restore. How cool is that? And then when you type in help, you see a list of all the commands. So uh, let's just go through a few. Uh, I'm just going to go through a few of these. He, he has an actual uh, a YouTube video, which I'll link to, which goes over most of all of these commands here. But to get the status of the current device, you just hit status. The, the device that it's connected to right now is 8. So if I wanted to switch it to 9, I switch, I say device space 9. I don't have a disk plugged in, so I, I'm, I got a read error right there. Now I'm going to throw in a blank floppy that's never been uh, formatted. And let's type in help again. The, the goal that I wanted to, uh, or that I was trying to achieve on this video, was to format the disk. exact name. GPAC Dementia space DE01. So I'm throwing in a blank diskette that's never been formatted. And the command that I want to use to format the disk is header space quote and then give it a name gpack dementia de quote comma i01 and then hit yes for are you sure. And I can hear the disk spinning and it sounds like it's initializing right now. And then after it's done formatting, you can use the command catalog to check it out to see what's on there. There it is. <laughs> Let me try that again. Catalog. I wonder if we can go C Shift A. C Shift A. Catalog. Has that space in it? Okay, I have to hit the space bar. Help. Now he has it spelled out catalog with a G U E. Let's try that. Okay, so I guess when you uh, don't type it all the way out, oops, when you don't type it all the way out, oh, now it's working. All right, so I'm going to format a couple more disks. One more blank disks. I'm just gonna hit shift up arrow and hit enter. So this really is easier to uh, format the floppy disks once you get past the learning curve of using the software. Once you, once you learn how to use the TDOS system it's um, fairly simple to use.
and get a catalog. All right. Do the next one. Okay. So anyway, that is how you format a floppy disk using John Dale's nifty little tool set here. It's really neat. And there's a lot more to this, and I will link to his YouTube video covering the, these tools. It's, it's really neat and it will help you navigate disk images and it's really an impressive set of tools that was created by uh, old school coder John Dale Soft. John Dale, back in the day when he was probably still a teenager I'm guessing. So it was really really impressive what he was able to accomplish and uh, Go check it out. I believe he's going to release the source code if he hasn't already, either on his GitHub account or on a link from his YouTube channel. He also has posted a terrific set of tutorials on assembly language programming, which are very interesting. So go check them out. Old School Coder with a K. O-L-D-S-K-O-O-L Coder on YouTube. Mm -hmm.